Hi everybody. Uh, today I want to do well basically a tutorial but also like a show and tell and um, I'm looking for a bit of feedback from you guys. Um, I want to build in next season a general mob farm but I want to do something different or something I actually haven't done before. Um, as you can see there is the farm below me. I made this little perimeter and doing a couple of tests but I want to build a mob farm with flying machines, a general mob farm. So all the mobs, uh, spiders, creepers, the zombies, skeletons, uh, and the witches, of course. Um, now, I've never done it in survival, so that's something I want to try. But uh, let's go have a look uh, what I've come up with. So basically, you can see here's the drop shoots. So the mobs fall down, they die, and <clears throat> we just collect the drops in here. As you can see, it's quite a bit here. So this farm is working well. Uh, the only problem is you always have, obviously, your spiders, and then witches or mobs that have feather falling uh, armor and things on. Now, what I've done, I've got a flying machine. Let's quickly take out over here. As you can see here, there is the flying machine coming back now. So I've got it set up on a little timer here. As you can see here goes the repeaters and then it sends it off. So the piston activates an observer which increases. So it's not a very big farm. So what I'll do is let me quickly go up here again and then I will activate my camera account and you guys can see inside the farm. So, I'm um, far enough so nothing else can spawn around me except for what's in the farm. So, let's quickly head down and you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Okay, there we go. You can see a little bit better. So, as you can see, the area is big enough for the mobs to spawn in. And they spawn pretty quick because there's nowhere else for them to spawn. And the flying machine just moves across the floor. Pushing them down and they, they go down into the little kill chamber, the, the fall damage area over there. As you can see the spider is always a problem because spiders obviously climb up everywhere and go where they shouldn't. But that's not too much of a problem. The mob cap is not always 100% full but obviously the bigger this farm is, the more mobs are going to be able to spawn. So this is basically like a tutorial but also as I said I want feedback from you guys. I want to build something like this in uh, next season, which we obviously just waiting for Minecraft 1.20 to come out and all the updates and mods and releases and everything else that I can start doing that. So I just want to know what you guys think. Should I build something like this or is there maybe a other type of farm you think I should build? But uh, it's fairly easy to do. I just need to get obviously a lot of terracotta to make the glazed terracotta because slime doesn't stick to it. So you can build this flying machine, you can see it's completely, it's only one block high flying machine and it goes directly over the floor and that's what pushes the mobs. Um, other than that, there's not a lot of difficult materials to get hold of, so this is something you can build fairly quick and easy in the beginning of your game. And um, yeah, I don't have to use glass here, you can use normal blocks, you can see I just use cobblestone over there, build a roof. Uh, it's basically just observers and repeaters and sticky pistons, a couple of extra things. Other than that, it works very well. So I just want some advice from you guys. What do you think about this farm? Should I do it in my next series or is it something else I should try and build? But thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers guys.